Welcome to training. Grounded, unwavering strength and sustainability should be the goal of each human with a body not yet in the ground, starting as young as possible and continuing into your golden years. First move comes from martial arts, and we apply it to foundation and power batics training, and it'll build legs stronger than iron. We would build up to holding this for five minutes or longer. Don't mistake videos like this for coaching with proper training, safety protocols, insurance, and progressions. Start with feet together at attention. Then flare the toes out as wide as possible. Then the heels. Then the toes again. Then the heels straight back. This is the width you want with toes forward. Then put the arms out straight across. Sharp fingers, locked elbows, tight. A flying rhinoceros should be able to come and land on your arm and you shouldn't budge. Then keep your chest up and your back engaged. Now push the knees outward as you travel downward to knees parallel with hips in the horse stance. You should be symmetrical, you should be clean and sharp. One, three, even five minute holds. Or for reps, And if this is tough, you should by no means be doing squats, deadlifts, or anything else. But if you do build up to long, trembling, five minute plus holds, you will build a foundation that will last a lifetime. Then add however much weight you want. But ultimately, my goal is to get people thinking about the bigger picture and applying these principles to all areas of life. Now, because we're talking about leg strength in general in this video, I do wanna mention the numbers and forces we're talking about. When we get up into advanced things like tumbling or other elements of our power batics training or even just jumping down from something like any normal human would. Even if a person can do a 400 pound plus squat, doesn't mean their knees, ankles, and Achilles can handle a big jump or bounding on hard ground like humans are designed to do. Let's take just jumping down from the back of a truck or hopping a small fence. That's gonna generate two to three times body weight, instant shock, or just running or sprinting. That generates four to five times body weight force each time the foot strikes the ground. And studies have been done with force plates showing that tumbling can generate over 14 times body weight. So let's just take a 150 pound person, multiply that by 14, and that equals 2,100 pounds per square inch. That's why I cringe when I see someone who hasn't been working out go try a round off or a front handspring in the yard, or to see someone go tumble without warming up. And these basics to human movement, let alone tumbling, are things that weightlifting and box gym wads don't train a person for. But many say they can't. They're too old, too fat, their arms are too short like a T-Rex. But many say they can and then do it. Like Lenny Nemechek, the real Wolverine. If you don't know his story, you should watch some of his videos on our channels and website. These moves are actually just a small part of a warm-up that we do for power batics and specific room athletics. And then we do strength separately and then skill and then flexibility. This is the while your arms and legs are only a few inches above the ground. Most don't realize that the simplest things are often the most difficult and the most valuable. Not only does it build your mind, but it builds your core with engagement strength that's not achieved otherwise or through any movement. Also important to remember is that strength is built through muscular transformation and adaptation that occurs in 90 day cycles. So there are no shortcuts. Often people will quit too soon or they won't progressively push outside their comfort zone, which is a recipe for staying on the plateau of mediocrity. So try this and see if you can hold 
for 100 seconds in perfect form without stop. By the way, subscribe, but also use the link to opt in because if Google or social media ever goes away, which may in fact be for the betterment of mankind, it'll be nearly impossible to stay connected with our community and videos hidden in the mountains of Alaska. So make sure to dive into our universe. Take the wall handstand, for example. Ankles together, arms on your ears, nose on the wall, five minutes and no come downs. Every time you come down, it adds another bridge push up for everybody. And do you dare try this on your own at home? Will you find where your true breaking point is and push beyond it? You can do it on your own, no doubt in my mind. There might be in yours though, once you hit 29, 39, 49 seconds, but you can push through. And not only this, but all challenges in life. And something usually neglected, but which doesn't require any equipment at all. Just a basic static hang for one minute from one hand. Not even for grip strength, but for shoulder mobility and engagement through your whole kinetic chain, all the way from your fingers to iliac crest, including your core. And if you can't do one hand, then do two and use chalk and hang like your life depends on it because your health and strength really do. Most people can do a box jump, even a low one, but what about a full body jump that truly requires your full body, including your core and range of motion in your lower back? A Kong vault is a nice beginner body weight move that's part of the free run element of power batics. It helps you build coordination and something vital for your lower back, hip mobility and core compression strength. Plus, unlike some of the other static holds, it is ballistic and uses strength, speed and flexibility, all of which are combined. But it is like the others in that it's just a basic and part of getting everything up and running. It's what we teach our coaches and even most advanced students. And then this builds level by level into mastery, dyna combos, full katas of strength, flexibility, and skill. We only provide free content to inspire you. But if you'd like to take your training to higher levels, you can talk with me and my team in the next day or so. And you really will go much further than watching videos and using DIY courses by working with a sensei, teacher, or coach. You'll save 10 years of trial, error, and frustration. Since you're getting the combined decades of experience and thousands of data points from an entire team. Or do self-study for 10 to 20 years. That's okay too. Either way, we have more videos coming up on the screen that'll help you. And I'll see you in the next video or hopefully in training soon.